Greetings, I'm coming to you to share some thoughts with you concerning a question that I ask frequently, even by my own grandchildren. And this is the question, when I die, when will I go to heaven? Do I close my eyes and go to heaven then? Or what happens? What happens to all the people that die before me or will, will die after me? And as I ponder that question and, and sought the Lord in prayer, this is what my conclusion is. And hopefully it'll be a blessing to you. You know, last night, Paul Teske went to sleep. I don't remember exactly when I closed my eyes, but I fell asleep. And the next thing I knew, I was awake. You know, I didn't track the time from when I fell asleep to when I woke up. I go to sleep. Next thing you know, I open my eyes and I'm awake. And for me, I think that's the way that's going to be. You know, the Bible talks about sleeping in the Lord. We close our eyes and, and, and die. But... I believe that the same experience that I had in that interim, not knowing the difference between when I closed my eyes, when I woke up, what happened at that time, I think that's what's going to happen to all of us. You know, Abraham closed his eyes, will awaken in the presence of the Lord. King David closed his eyes, will awaken in the presence of the Lord. My dad and my mother died. They will awaken in the presence of the Lord. It'll be a simultaneous thing. You see, because with God, there is no time. God is eternal. We live our life based on increments of time. We have a beginning and an end. But in the eternal world, in all eternity, there is no time. So I believe, this is what I believe, I believe that when I close my eyes, as Abraham and, and David and my parents, and, and you too someday, will open our eyes just like we did this morning when we woke up, and we'll be in the presence of all the saints all the saints, and we'll all be standing before the Lord in that moment of glorification and, 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 and judgment. That's just my opinion, but I hope this has been helpful for you. I, the, the Bible really doesn't give us a definitive answer on this, but I think for me, it's helpful to know that as I fell asleep and woke up this morning, not remembering what happened in that chasm of time of several hours, it's going to be the same way when we fall asleep, whether it was yesterday or 300 years ago or 3,000 years ago, that all those who close their eyes in death will awaken in the presence of God with new bodies, right? No more sorrow, sickness, or illness. We're going to have new bodies, glorified bodies, and we'll all be standing before the glorious Father forever and ever. And those that Die in Christ, will rise with Christ to live forever in God's presence. And for those that don't, you know, they'll incur the judgment of God. That's what the Bible says. So what's important for you? To know Jesus Christ as your Lord and the Savior, to believe in his redemptive work and resurrection hope that you can stand on, on, on the right side and that God can look to you and say, come unto me right now, you good and faithful servant. In Jesus' name. I hope this has been helpful. You know, it helps me understand it. It gives me a sense of peace. And I will say it again, when I die, my eyes will open, regardless of how long it is from when I close my, my eyes for the last time, I'll be open and be in the presence of God and my parents and David and all the saints that, that died in, in, in uh, God's favor will be with him forever and ever in Jesus' name. I hope this again has been helpful. Go in peace and serve the Lord. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, Go to my webpage, paulteskeministries.com. Hit the prayer button. You can share your prayer requests, uh, your thoughts. Or if you're watching Facebook, you can give me a comment on the comment section to just share with me your thoughts about what I've just said. I hope uh, that you'll do that. And I will answer every, every comment, every request that I get, every prayer request going forward in Jesus' name. So go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen.